This video should be a tutorial on how to do exercise 417 of class number four of the Shipyard AutoCAD introductory program uh, class. Uh, and I got the PDF for the dimensions over here. Here's a close up if you want to screen cap capture and jot it down. I'll close drawing four that I didn't complete. We'll start a brand new drawing, start from scratch with an ACAD.DWT template. Again, I got dynamic input on the polar tracking set for 90 with no additional angles. I got O snaps set for five running, end, mid, center, quadrant, and intersection. And the usual five, turn off that. Double check everything. Yep, got all buttons showing on the status bar. Let's start with, uh, say, the inner and outer circles. Right, right at that point there. No absolute coordinate, so I can pick a random point. Diameter radius icon, pick a point, and the radius of that is 1.25. 1.25. 1 enter. The inner circle is an offset copy of the outer circle by a quarter of an inch. Okay, week number or class number four teaches the offset command in addition to the array and explode. And I forget what, if, anyway, click on the offset icon and zoom in on it for good measure. And I keep forgetting that does not work here. Looks like a sideways C. We'll click offset. By default, the start from scratch has the offset set for one. I want to change the offset to 0.25. It's directly asking specify offset distance. So I don't need to click on an option to set the distance like, like I do in um, fillet command. So 0.25 answers the question, specify offset distance, and I'll hit enter. We'll offset the 1.25 circle and drop it down to a one diameter circle. All right, it's important that the center of the pipe be located one inch from the wall, assuming this is going to eventually have holes in it, but this will be a pipe clamp holding a pipe or conduit to the to a wall or side of a building. Unfortunately, it's got to be dimensioned that because that's the critical dimension from the center of the pipe to the wall. So let's draw a guideline straight down from this quadrant of the large circle down one unit, and then to the right, 1.75 units. And that'll put us here. And gosh, I'm getting myself confused again. Well, let's work away on it. Draw a line, start at the quadrant, come straight down, one unit, enter. Oop, and it drifted off a of polar tracking. I'll undo, be more careful, one straight down. This will work. We'll set the polar tracking to the right. Type 1.75 for that. And we'll draw a guideline. Or a, we'll draw a line straight down from the inner circle so we can rate fill it between this 1.75 line on the outside and this vertical line that goes into the inside radius. Hit escape to deselect. Click fill it. Set for zero, being a new drawing. 
I'll click the radius option to change the radius setting. Again, this is not the same procedure as offset. I don't know why they're not consistent. 0.25 enter for the offset. I'm sorry, the fillet radius. Forgot. 0.25 enter. Select first object near the endpoint. Select the second object near the endpoint. We're on our way. Let's add a line here. No, we can just offset. Yeah, let's let's offset that. I click offset icon. It's already set for 0.25, so we don't have to type a distance. Hit enter or space bar to concur with the offset distance. Click on that line and offset it straight, not down, but up. You can offset it either way. Okay, let's put a fillet right here of a, of a quarter inch. Fillet, fillet, it's already set a quarter inch. Click, click. Actually, this is not a quarter. It should not be a quarter inch. Let me erase that. It'll be an offset copy of this one. Okay, you can select and then hit erase, but I think it's better have it click the icon, then click the object. We'll offset. It's already 0.25. Hit enter to accept that. We'll offset that guy down to there and trim off these whiskers. Okay, now this probably would be better if I put it in the later class. So we can take advantage of the mirror command. We're going to draw everything out here. Why not just reflect it across the midpoint of the pipe clamp? I don't know what I was thinking. But let's trim. In AutoCAD 22, there's a system variable. So uh, depending on how that system variable is set, you may or may not have everything as a cutting edge. Mine is set so that everything is already a cutting edge. If you got a bracket here that says uh, select all, I think it is, hit enter to select all. But my, my 2022 is set up so it's already everything's a cutting edge. So we'll click away and nibble. Looks good. Okay, let's build there, down, across, offset, fill it like we did over here. Line, come down one inch. Go that way, 1.75, enter. offset this line straight up a quarter inch offset distance already set Just hit enter space bar select that click up draw a line down here we'll fill it here the quarter inch to match this radius on that side Offset, already a quarter inch, enter, click. Ah, why do I keep forgetting that? Offset, enter. I'm sorry, I should be filleting. Fillet, radius is set for a quarter inch. Click, click. Okay, let's offset this arc a quarter inch down to form the arc, the 0.5 arc down here. Hit escape to deselect. Offset, still a quarter inch. Hit enter, select what you want, and click which direction you want to go. If you offset this way, it's a, a zero length 
arc may or may not show up as a pixel on your screen. Not sure. Never click outside. And we'll connect the dots on the left. I believe we can trim the garbage away. Trim. In my CAD, everything's a cutting edge. If you see select all, hit enter to, so that everything's a cutting edge. Trim that, 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 that. Looks good. Hit enter to finish the offset, the trim command. Draw a line at the right side here. Now, I'm going to double check that uh, 1.75 times 2 plus 2 times 1.25, all that should equal 6. Let us, uh, let's draw a line. From there to there, I'll erase it since you don't know how to dimension yet. We'll select that line. And yes, the length is six. So we made it correctly. You can hit delete key or hit, e hit erase, but again, it's good habit to click icon and then the object you want to work. That concludes it. I don't expect you to know the do the red cross uh, sniper scope target there. Catch you later. Bye.